Hey Aries, this is your Timeless Love reading, and this is just a short little reading for you. It is general, so it might not resonate for every single one of you, um, but I hope it does. So keep in mind, this is for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs and energies can be transferable. I appreciate you guys for watching, and we're going to start with you, them, connecting energies, and what you need to know, grow, and let go of in love. All right, Aries. You, them, connecting energies. Ooh. Oh. So for you, we have the Nine of Cups. I feel like you have this ease about you at this time where you feel very content. Maybe you're feeling a lot of pride and um, showing uh, maybe some accomplishments that you've had, some tro trophies. Um, but I feel like, you know, there there is something underneath all of that with the, the curtain there. So we'll see. You know, it's not the Ten of Cups, but... And the, for them, we have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like they're feeling very independent, very uh, accomplished. I feel like you're both feeling very independent and accomplished. They might be an earth sign and you might have some water in your chart. Um, but I feel like you're both feeling very satisfied with yourselves. Not necessarily, and your, your arms are crossed. So I don't know if you're just kind of like closed off a little bit to this potential situation or what, but they're not really bothered either way. Um, neither one of you seem bothered at, at, at all. Um, with the chariot in reverse though, it kind of makes me a little bit curious. So I feel like maybe both of you uh, have a fear of moving forward in this situation or you know, so maybe some things holding you guys back. So let's take a little bit more of an in-depth look. For Aries, their person in the connecting energies. Alrighty. So for you, we have the Thunderbolt to clarify your Nine of Cups. I feel like there is an ending that you're trying to appear very calm about. Um, I feel like you're trying to maintain this appearance of being completely unbothered about some kind of ending possibly between you and another person. Um, so let's get into what is Aries' intention and next move towards this person. Oops. Your intentions towards this person is I feel like you want to work on it with this person, but I don't feel like you're talking about it. Um, you might be doing some private manifesting or just like, I feel like there's like a willingness to work on it. You might, um, but I feel like, you know, with your, your, your next move as the king of swords in reverse, I feel like there is a lack of communication or a lack of open communication. I feel like your next move is to just maybe you know, give very short answers to protect yourself. Uh, like, you know, yes, no, sure, why not? You know, um, your arms are crossed. So I feel like you are trying to protect your heart at this time. Uh, fear of an ending, perhaps, or because of some kind of ending that has happened recently. Okay, so for them, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Source. So I feel like they feel very passionate about you. Um, Despite the fact that they can handle life on their own, you know, they can they can handle this. I feel like they feel very passionate about you. I feel like they feel like you are, I don't know, like the source of inspiration or something like that. Aries. Um, I feel like they want... <laughs> I don't know why, I feel like they want to, like, some of them really want to be, like, they want to impregnate you, or they want to be impregnated by you, or something like that, I don't know, that's not a lot of you, I don't know why, I, that's really random, but, anyways, so, let's go ahead and look at their intention and next move towards you, Aries, what is this person's intention and next move towards Aries? Yeah, they really like you. They want to give you like all the harmony. They want to they want I feel like, you know, I feel like they 
they're matching your energy at breadcrumbing. I feel like you're both breadcrumbing each other, but they, they're they just trying to match your energy. So if you were to open up, they would open wide up. I mean, they feel like giving you like all the harmony, all the reciprocated energy. They want to like rub your back. They want their back rubbed. Um, but their next move is kind of matching your energy, the Queen of Wands in reverse. I feel like they're going to try to act like, you know, a little bit cold shouldered. I feel like they're going to try to act like they're not really bothered by you. They're not really into you. <laughs> this is kind of funny. It is. It's cute. It's, it's really, I mean, I don't know. I know that you, you, I feel like you've been through something to make you this way and they're just trying to match it because they just think that this is some kind of like cute game that you're playing at, but it's kind of like, I don't know, you, it would be nice if you were to open up and communicate with this person so that they could nurture you because they want to and they have it within them to do so. Um, so for the connecting energies, the chariot and intensity, I feel like, you know, you're both feeling very intensely towards each other and very passionately towards each other, but I feel like you both feel it, feel a little bit of impulsiveness and immaturity or something. Um, there is like a lot of focus on you at this time um, because it's pointing towards you. I feel like they're very focused on, on you and you are just like in your chariot upside down like I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of what I'm with the stars by his head. I'm thinking. Get some clarifi clarification for the connecting energies. Aries and this person. Connecting energies. The hangman in reverse. No movement. Not seeing things clearly. Neither one of you are seeing things like the grand scheme of things is completely amiss. Um, so what you need to know, grow, and let go of in love. Let's take a peek at that, Aries. What does Aries need to know, grow, and let go of in love? Because this is all up to your personal choice. Um, definitely. No. So what you need to know, we have awareness and schizophrenia. So I feel like what you need to know is you need to know. You need to know, you need to get out of the clouds. Um, you need to burn away all the fear and illusion because you need to... Seven is like fears, doubts, illusions, the unknown, um, insecurities, like fears of lessons or whatever. But when you burn away all of that, you have that like inner Buddha, that inner calm and that inner awareness that makes you so confident about making it. I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made here because if you don't make it, you're going to, you know, as we know, if we don't make a decision, the universe makes it for us. And then you'll drop down to the center into those clouds of illusion. And, you know, that's not the decision you want. You want to be on either one of these sides, right? Because if you don't like this side, then you can run over and hit that side. But you don't want to drop down there. And I feel like there's harmony and peace that awaits you on either one of these sides. You just have to decide. You have to be very, you have to gain your confidence and um, ability to see things. All right. So for what you need to grow, we have the prince, the prince. <laughs> The Knight of uh, Swords energy, this is the Knight of Illusions fighting. So I feel like you need to start communicating and fighting for what you want. I feel like there is a stubbornness that needs to be, be released here. Um, I feel like there's it's time to like start thinking a little bit more. Uh, I feel like you are in this mode of like avoidance right now. And um, I feel like it's time to maybe contemplate but we'll clarify that because that's a weird one to be in your grow position. And what you need to let go of, we have the Four of Pentacles type energy, the miser. This is like needing to control your emotions, needing to, not your emotions, but like hoarding. I feel like in this case, hoarding your emotions to protect yourself because there's a wall. Hoarding your emotions because your emotions are gems, Aries, because you, they are... Not to say that it's rare, but it's rare for an Aries to like really, really open up to someone. So it's kind of like, it's just so precious when you do. And 
Um, so that is a treasure. And so what you need to let go of is just to, to release it because I feel like once you release it, this person or someone else even could match it at such a level that would just really actually fulfill you and get you to the Ten of Cups instead of the Nine of Cups where your arms are crossed. Um, so let's go ahead and get some clarification here real quick and then we'll move on to your Oracle card. Aries, what you need to know, grow, and let go of in love. <laughs> Definitely. I feel like you're afraid of contemplation. You're afraid of the... Con the, the I'm sorry. I just skipped what you need to know. What you need to know is it's time to move away from the tumultuous waters, like the tumultuous like waters of not of feeling like you can't you can't make decisions, you don't know that the feelings of not knowing. You're moving into calmer waters because you're moving into your knowing, your awareness, your confidence, your your inner peace, your mental peace. So for what you need to grow, um, the hermit to clarify the fighting. I feel like you're afraid to find the mental conflict that's within when you do your contemplation and inner reflection, but it's actually going to lead you to so much inner stability and strength that you as an Aries could use it to do anything, any, 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 anything in the world, anything in the world, literally anything. <laughs> Um, so if you choose to do that reflection, grow on your ability to think and reflect and maybe journal and go through that inner conflict, that inner conflict, oh man, what you could find there and what you could do with it for the world, for yourself. Um, so for what you need to let go of, we have the page of pentacles in reverse to clarify this, uh, you might have a lot of earth in your chart or be dealing with an earth sign, but what you need to let go of here is like a fear. Fear, insecurity, holding back, withholding your seed, withholding your goodness, withholding your um, ability to make some kind of long-lasting relationship because this is a love reading. Um, so yeah, you have the potential to make a very, very long-lasting, amazing relationship, but you're withholding this out, out of fear. Um, maybe some kind of childhood trauma or, you know, something like that. Something from your past that puts you in a state of insecurity and needing to withhold. Um, so let's go ahead and take a peek at your Oracle card and then we'll release you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I appreciate everyone who does. And I have a bunch of new uploads on my Etsy shop. So if you want to check those out, I have holographic stickers that are pretty badass. So bad butt. Sorry, you do. Aries guidance for love. The journey home. Rest, comfort, and security. Our inner being longs for us to reside as one. Take time today to rest into who you are, your body, your soul, your heart. Place hands on your chest and breathe deep, deeply and allow your mind to envision, envision a home within because I feel like there's definitely a divide within you at this time um, that's keeping you shut out. So good luck, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.